video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom slider on Elementor Pro. So it's completely customizable. Every slide is made with a container, so you can add any elements that you want to it. It's really simple, easy method that I've kind of figured out. So this is a slide that we're going to be creating here. I'm just using an Elementor video that already has some text on it. So I know that doesn't really look the best, but just as a sample, this is what we're going to be creating. So hope you guys enjoy. Right, let's go ahead and begin here. So in case you guys are wondering what hosting I'm using for my development environment here, I'm actually using InstaWP and you can create really quick websites, pick the plugins that you want really quickly and easily just click a few buttons and get that all started. As you can see here in the video, definitely recommend and that's what I'm going to be using moving forward for my development websites there. I did make a video on this, so I highly recommend it. Check it out. It's going to be in the description. If you want to support the channel, you can use that affiliate link. So let's go ahead and begin here. So I actually do need to set up a page, so I haven't done that. I'm going to do this really quickly. So, and I'm not going to be showing my face just because I want to knock out these videos in a quick manner here. So I have a couple videos that I really want to release, and I'm actually doing this really late just because I really want to get this content out there for you guys. Wish this was my full-time job, but it's not. But hopefully one day it is. So you know what? Before we get started, because I actually do want to be using containers. So let me just go back here really quick. And you're going to need to be using containers to be able to do this. Just want to mention that. And there's a few other features that you're going to need to enable as well. Go into Elementor settings there. Go into features. And then we're going to go in and activate Flex Container. And you don't need Grid Container. Another one that we're going to do is Nested Elements. That one is super important. Make sure you activate that. And that's what we're going to need there. So let's go ahead and hit Save changes. Now let's go ahead and go to our pages here. We have our home page. I'm going to actually go to my settings here, go to reading, going to set that to static and my home page here. There we go. Let's go to pages and let's get this started. Edit with Elementor. So I'm going to be using a template here. I'm just going to grab a random template. I always choose this one. So let's go ahead and just hide this title and make sure this is Elementor full width. All right. So I don't know why that's still staying on there. It's probably because I don't have my header set up and that is totally fine. So let's go ahead and add a container right above here because this is where we're going to add our slider. And I'm actually going to remove this section here. This one's going to act as our main hero section, but it's just going to be a video slider. So go ahead and add that container there. Let's go ahead and set this to full width and let's remove any padding that we have on the side there. So now from here, let's go ahead and type in slider and we're going to go ahead and do carousel right here, this carousel. So actually type in carousel and then drag and drop that in there. And this is where we're, we're, we're going to be using to create our video slider. So I'm going to do about just for this example, we'll do two slides, but you can do as many slides as you want. So these are the settings that I recommend. So slide to display one slice to scroll one. We want to set this to equal height. You can adjust your autoplay settings, all these other settings accordingly. That's really not that important. The navigation isn't that important either, but we can adjust that later on. So let's go into our slides here. Make sure that there's no gap. And you know what, before I do that, I'll show you guys a scenario just so then you guys know why we're doing that in case you guys encounter that. So, but make sure you do set this to zero and yeah, we can start from here. So now that we're on our first slide here, let's go ahead and add a container in there. Make sure we go ahead and set this to full width as well. So just want to make sure that this one's set to full width. Click on this, also set to full width. So both of these need to be set to full width. Make sure you have it on zero padding here for our first slide. And then same thing with this, with our inner container in, the, in there. So the reason I'm doing this this way, now I know you can also do it through here. I just recommend that you do it this way. It makes it a lot easier. So then you can go ahead and add a uh, content inside of it, but you can also add the video in, in your, in your slide one, but I'm going to do it inside the container. So let's go ahead and grab that video here. I'm going to go into my videos. I'm going to drag and drop a video just so that I can grab a, the URL in here. As an example, you can use whatever URL that you want. 
for your video. Of course, you can upload a video to, to WordPress and then you can just go ahead and add that URL there. So let's go ahead and do that, but make sure let's actually open up our navigator and make sure that we're in our container here and let's go into video add my video URL. There we go. And let's go ahead and, and adjust the height here. So we're going to adjust the height accordingly to what we want there. So adjust it to whatever height, if you want, you can even use VH and then do a hundred, however you would like to do that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and adjust this again. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that because as you can see, we have these gaps here. So let's just bring it up a little bit more. Let's do about 87 VH or yeah, 87 should be fine. Any width is fine, but it is very important that you set that up first because this will be the width. Sorry, this will be the height that we use for pretty much all of the slides and it'll really set that up. Now, if we want to add content inside here, so now what we can do is we can drag and drop our titles if we need to. So go ahead and click on your main container there. We want to set everything to the center here, align it to the center. Obviously you're in the video, you're probably not going to have a big title like this, but just want to show you guys that there. And then let's go to style. Let's add an overlay to this because you're most likely going to want to add an overlay to your video just like that. So we can see the text a little bit better, make that white style that however you would like, not really going to go over much of the styling for you guys, but just want to show you guys that you guys can do that. So let's grab our text editor in here. Where'd that go? Okay. So it went down there because it didn't go inside the container. Oops. Let's go back there. Uh, let's grab our, our text edit, editor. Let's put it right under there. There we go. So if we want to adjust the font to that, we can also adjust a little size how we would like, maybe add a button if we want to as well. And if you guys are just new to containers, I know it can be a little bit confusing at first, but once you guys get used to it, trust me, you guys are going to love it and it is going to be a time saver. I feel like, all right. So now that we have that, that is one slide. Now, instead of going, going ahead and, you know, recreating that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to duplicate this container here, and then I'm just going to drag and drop it into this slide here. Let me open it. There we go. Let's see if I can just put it in there. There we go. Now we do need to adjust some settings as we can see there. Don't worry about that. So let's click here. Let's make sure that we set this to full width and make sure that we have no gaps on each side. That's super important there. And then make sure that we have any, anything in here. Let's go back there. Full width here, as we can see, everything is fine. I'm good. Kind of wondering why there is a, okay. Okay. So there's no gap there. That was maybe just a glitch there. All right. So it looks to be everything looking good. Let's go ahead and actually update this and let's see the preview real quick. I don't want to take too long on this video here. Let's let it load. There we go. So now we have this video slide, but there is a problem. As you can see here, we have this spacing right in between each slide. We have that gap there. So we actually want to remove that. So go ahead and click on your carousel, go into style. And this is that gap that I was talking about that we need to actually remove. So hit update. And there we go. So you can mix this, you can do a video slide and then you can do an image slide. You can basically do a custom slide, which is pretty awesome. And I really love this feature that you're able to do this. So now we can just make custom slideshows and we don't really got to use any other plugin. And I feel like you guys are really going to love this. So, uh, for mobile, always super important. Let's go to tablet. Let's go to fix some of the issues that we have there. So uh, I'm going to click on your carousel there. Are we on our carousel? Yeah, it looks like we are. So we're going to do a slide that we want to display as one. And then we also want to be scrolling one slide at a time because that's super important. And you can fix some of the spacing, but if you really need it to, don't want to go back, don't want to go into it too much, but basically just add some padding here on the, on the side just to kind of fix that. I would just recommend always doing 20, 20 on each side is fine. Um, if you really want to adjust that and then we let's adjust the height. Actually, you know what? Something I did not go over and that is super important. Something that I, I kind of recommend you do actually is when it comes to the height. So let's click on this one here. And instead of adjusting this, because now 
if we were to adjust this one, we can go to the next one. You can see that the other one's large. And I kind of don't like that. I want this one to always just be the same as the first slide. So what I actually do when I set up the rest of the slides, so the first slide, I set up the height and the rest of them on the container, on the container there, we I actually am doing a percentage. So I go ahead and go to the pencil icon here. And what I'll do is I'll do 100%. So basically what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and go 100% of whatever my original height is, which is this one that I've set here on the first slide, which is pretty awesome. Because now, as you can see, if I adjust this here, the other slide will also be the same height. So we can set up the height globally. And I kind of kind of recommend you guys do that. Makes it a lot easier, right? And don't worry about these gaps here, because I think whenever I save it, it removes. So let's go into tablet. Let's fix that. Let's fix some things here. So the height, right? So now I don't have to go into every single one and, and adjust the height globally. I can just adjust one of them on mobile and it's going to go ahead and do it to all the slides, which is going to make it a lot easier. So you don't got to go ahead and do it to every single one on tablet. So let's go into style here. Sorry, let's go into this con this container and then let's adjust the height here. And then, like I mentioned, since we did it 100% on the other one, it's going to do the same thing. Obviously it has that spacing issue, but yeah, we don't really need to worry about that right now. So let's do maybe we can do something like this on tablet and then just make sure that you do have the video play on mobile. So you may, you may encounter that with a video doesn't play. So go to your container again and then make sure you put play on mobile and that's how we can have that video play. So let's adjust the height on or sorry, the, the size of this text here. I can go ahead and if we want to set it to the side, because as you can see, um, I'll do that right now. So we can adjust this if we need to adjust this a little bit. There we go. That's fine. So if you want to go ahead and move maybe the text here to the right, to the left here. Now you can do that within the, the container. Now, if I go ahead and do this, you see it's going to move everything. But let's say I just wanted to do it to just a heading here. You can actually do a, do a self. So you can do an aligned self to the start and that will only do it to the heading there. So we can do those individually. That's why I love, I love containers. So I think that looks good. And as you can see, there's a problem with the height, but that is just because we haven't adjusted the, our heading and our text here to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm probably just going to duplicate it later on, but okay. So now everything's looking good. Now what I'm going to do actually is just duplicate, delete this one here. And then I'm going to duplicate this here. Grab this one. Make sure that's that's set to 100% again. That is super important that we set, set this to 100% there. So there's a little bit of bug here for some weird reason. But uh, that should work. I mean, double check here, see what's going on with that. So there's clearly something wrong. Oh, wait, there we go. That's actually working. Let's go back to 100%. Oh, there we go. So maybe I didn't, I probably didn't put the percentage there. Okay, so now if we go into, and I always try to not make these videos long for you guys, but you know what? I always like to go through little scenarios that you guys may come across. I just feel like that's super important and you know, the less trouble you guys have, the better. So let's go, go ahead and see if this is mobile optimized and it is, it looks like it's all mobile optimized. So go in here, go in here, down here, and there you have it. Now it looks like I didn't adjust the height on, did I adjust the height on mobile? But maybe I didn't. If you guys wanted to go to the main container, always start out the main one. Cause that's the one that sets up the height globally for all of them. So you can adjust this here. That is pretty much it guys. That's how you set up a video slider on Elementor. You can add any, you can add image slides, anything you want, really customizable. So I hope you guys liked the idea. Thanks for watching.